So here's a crazy, I forget, I lied. There's one more story. Here's a crazy story. So there's this guy who makes Batmobiles in Indiana. So this rich guy who's a politically connected in California ordered one of the Batmobiles. The guy... Was it Batman? No? <laughs> it, was not Bat, it was not Bruce Wayne. So the rich guy uh, was... Una- he, he missed a payment. And so that that moved him to the back of the line. There's only one guy who makes approved Batmobiles. And so he said, I couldn't get a hold of this guy who wanted me to build him a Batmobile. So I and and so I had to move him to the back of the line. So instead of him getting his Batmobile next month, he's not going to get it for a couple of months because he I, he was unavailable and I couldn't get a hold of him and he missed his payment. And so that guy who ordered the Batmobile, the rich guy, he's connected. He got so pissed off that the guy moved him to the back of the line and wouldn't give it to him right away Uh-oh. that he called the sheriff. Well, who is this joker? I'm joking. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so he called the sheriff in California. The sheriff sends people to Indiana to this guy to intimidate him. And they freeze his bank account. You want to see the story? Oh. Here's the story. There is only one place in the country where you can get a real Batmobile built. San Mateo County investigators traveled there on a taxpayer-funded trip, and the I-Team now has the receipts. Good evening, I'm Ama Dates. And I'm Dan Ashley. Thanks for joining us. The San Mateo County Board of Supervisors is taking action just days after Friday's I-Team report. We revealed that Sheriff Carlos Bolanos sent four investigators to Indiana last month to raid the only garage that makes Batmobile replicas licensed by DC Comics. Our Dan Noyes is back with an update on his exclusive investigation. Dan. Well, Dan and Amos, sources inside the Sheriff's Department tell me Bolano sent those men out of state as a favor for a friend who ordered a Batmobile. And now I have obtained some of the receipts for that trip, funded by your public money. Last week, I introduced you to Atherton realtor Sam Adignostio, who ordered a $210,000 Batmobile from this Indiana that builder. That looks awesome. Mark Rakup told me Adignostio missed a payment, that he couldn't reach him for more than eight months, and that he moved the realtor from first position to the ninth customer in line for a new Batmobile. He didn't like that. He exploded. He did pay off the entire car at that point. But he was absolutely livid to find out that his car was going to be delayed. When complaints to the Atherton police and a lawsuit didn't work, several sources inside the sheriff's office tell me, and Ignacio turned to an old friend to intervene, Sheriff Carlos Bolanos. On July 19th, he sent a lieutenant, a sergeant, and two deputies on a 2,200-mile trip to Raycup's garage, accompanied by a local Cass County detective. I was treated as though I was a criminal from the get-go. There was no discussion. It was not an interrogation. It was not an interview. They were there to intimidate me from minute one. Rakeup says the investigators from California told his workers to leave, turned away delivery people, took him to the local jail for an hour, but let him go. Only later did Rakeup find out they froze his bank account and charged him in San Mateo County with two felonies, obtaining money by false pretenses and diversion of construction funds. We'll now go to... Oh, wow. So, they, they, so did you know that the sheriff can freeze your frickin' bank account? Like that on a whim? So this is obviously, again, a political prosecution because the guy tried to go through the normal court proceedings and he couldn't get, he didn't get a resolution he liked. So then he take, he bribes his friend who's the sheriff and then his sheriff uses the law, the government, to go lean on this guy, intimidate him, freeze his <laughs> bank account, this is and how, take him to jail. This so, is like how Shug Knight used to muscle the music yes. industry with the mob Pyru gang. And yes. Then, except they couldn't freeze your bank account. They had right. To, <laughs> wow. So here, there's more. Uh, public comment. The San Mateo so County kind of Board of Supervisors know, got an um, earful about the Batmobile raid from their constituents today. We've heard nothing about the allegations of sheriffs being sent to another state to pretty much abuse power and bully a businessman when the matter could have been settled in civil court. I'm concerned about the integrity of the DA's office. Yes. The DA is supposed to pursue truth and justice irrespective of a person's wealth or status. This is just completely unacceptable. It's embarrassing. It's humiliating when I get calls from my friends around the country who tell me what the heck is going on in San Mateo County. 
The supervisors order the county executive to get answers from the sheriff's department and district attorney. Our constituents do want to have some answers, so uh, I think it's appropriate that the county exec um, look, look into this and give us a report back. I got some answers using the California Public Records Act, receipts from those four investigators on their trip to Indiana. The sheriff's department spent more than $5,000 for airfare, $1,272 for three nights of hotels, $427 for a rental SUV. They say only three of the investigators made overtime on that Sunday, more than $3,000, a total of $10,142.76. They got paid overtime to fly to Indiana to go intimidate a guy. They got paid double time so and a half. So the rich guy didn't even pay. He didn't even pay for the those bribe things. for them to do the corrupt thing. No, that came from the government. Was it a microcosm of our entire nation? Yes. <laughs> Bar. The county still has not provided meal receipts for the four days. I put in a new request to speak with Sheriff Bellano. Still no answer. But the realtor who ordered the Batmobile, Sam Adagnostio, has agreed to sit down for an interview, and I should have that coming up later oh, this week. Oh, that's going to be better wait. than Baldwin with the gun thing. So the day, the day of the interview came and went, and he did not show up no. for the interview. Oh, that guy did not show up for the interview. Here's a picture of his silver salon-styled hair. That. <laughs> Um, in fairness, that realtor would Batman have settled it in civil court? Probably not. Probably not. I like think he spent one... more than ten grand to fix it. I think this might be the follow-up. Only breaking news, Batman. Yes, in the criminal case involving a replica of the Batmobile from that 1960s TV show, the San Mateo County District Attorney has called off the arraignment for the Batmobile builder from Indiana, who's facing two criminal charges in a dispute with a wealthy realtor from Atherton. Good evening, I'm Ama Dates. And I'm Dan Ashley. Thanks for joining us. DA Steve Wagstaff is taking that action after watching the first two I-Team investigations on this case. And our Dan Noyes is back with this uh, new important development, Dan. Well, Dan and Ama, in our exclusive interview, Wagstaff told me he wants to personally review the case. Hear once again from both the Batmobile builder and the buyer and decide if the case should actually be dismissed. San Mateo County District Attorney Steve Wagstaff is canceling the August 19th hearing for Mark Rakup, a minister and owner of a garage in Indiana that builds replica Batmobiles. And I said, hey, what about this, this, and this? I want some more detail before we make a final decision on whether this case will go forward or not. So now he's acting like he wants to get to I'm, I'm all about but getting to the bottom. You're not a part of this fucking charade? You're not a part of it? So is that your last hope in America that a local news shame on you team will pick up your thing? That's your it. outrageous abuse of power happening. That's it. That's what you got. That's, that's what you got. That's all we got is a local corporate owned. News. By the way, the guy who owns this news station owns this guy, too. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that's why this stuff almost never happens, because the, all these politicians are bought by the people who own the co the media. So that's why this is weird that this happens. So you're right. You, you have to hope when you get an unbelievable when your bank account gets frozen by the sheriff in an illegal, corrupt maneuver. You have to hope that there's a local news guy who's going to shame them for you. Because a rich guy who didn't make a payment had to wait a little longer a little for longer. a Batmobile. That's right. It's, there's a little bit more. That's a change, though, huh? That's a change in the sense that otherwise it was just going to be an arraignment on the 19th of August. What spurred that second look? Um, I, uh, you. Candidly, Whoa. Wagstaff saw our I-team investigations over the past week, questioning why San Mateo County Sheriff Carlos Bolanos sent four investigators more than 2,200 miles to Logansport, Indiana, to raid Ray Cup's garage. What role did your office play Great. in the planning or the approval of the raid? Zero. Zero. You didn't know that they were going to be sending a team to Indiana? No. Not at all. Ah. Wagstaff tells me his staff did approve the search and arrest warrants prepared by the sheriff's investigators, but what? they didn't. So, so they they did approve it. So you approved the search warrant. Well, we I don't mean, read them, but we don't. <laughs> we just stamp them because we don't give a shit until the, the news comes. So the way I I'm if I'm watching that, I'm like, well, then he's lying. Yeah, that he didn't know anything about it and didn't do it. So, or 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 this news report is confusing me. But, you know, 45. I just have a really quick question. Who authorized that that man's bank accounts would be That's closed? what I want to know. Who authorized what bank? that? Yeah. What what public official authorized the shutting down of that guy's bank account? I say it's him. I say it's him, too. 
years in the DA's office. He has never seen a raid like this by the sheriff's department in another state for a nonviolent theft case. If the person they wanted to go arrest was the godfather in New York City, maybe you go with a few more people. But not um, in the average one, it's not something that I've seen. Sources inside the sheriff's department tell me that this was the sheriff doing a favor for a friend. What do you think about that? What's your take? What's your reaction? I hope not. I hope not. Sheriff Bolanos remains on his month-long vacation, and his office now says he can't talk to me because he's concentrating on giving answers to the Board of Supervisors about the Batmobile raid. <laughs> he's thinking I actually real had an about interview it. with Sam Adagnosio scheduled for the AB. <laughs> so here it is. <laughs> so here it is. <laughs> Hey, I actually had an interview with Sam Adagnostio scheduled for the ABC7 studios at 3 p.m. Wednesday, but he bowed out a short time before. His lawyer, Majid Samara, was really insistent. He was like, Sam wants to clear his name. He has to do this interview. We have to do it now. Now Samara says he's concerned about discussing evidence in an ongoing criminal matter and that Adagnostio has been receiving harassing and in some cases threatening texts and phone calls. He shared a few. Oh, no. Yesterday, you, I spotted wait, an Atherton police. You see his harassment? No. No, 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 Batman, hey, Robin, go get no, me a squirrel. No, 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 Batman, this, hey, Robin, go get me a squirrel. Many people in in the, in this world struggle to have enough food to eat every day and survive. On the other end, we have someone whining about his Batmobile didn't arrive on time. My God, have you lived... So this oh is my the God, abuse. these threats are unacceptable. <laughs> you mean people making reasonable arguments to yeah. him? This is what he considers abuse? Hello from New Zealand, Sam. We have heard all the way over here how much of a blank you are. Oh, oh. Maybe it's a oh ethnic my. slur. Oh, how can you handle that? He shared a few. Yesterday, he I spotted those? an Atherton police car stationed in front of his Tuscan-style home. I also discovered what Gosh. a car enthusiast, Sam. He gets his own private cop now, too. Yeah. Who's Isn't that weird? That? Oh, who pay? Us! Shouldn't he have to hire a private security guy? No, he gets a cop. Well, also, hire a private security guy... He's wrong. <laughs> like, He's like, in the wrong. Yeah, like, there's, there's nothing to hire, idiot. Yes. You, you, bro you breached the contract. Luke Skywalker. Is. What, what is that hair? file on his 2020 divorce. In the final agreement, he guessed to keep his Ford F-150, his 96 VW bus, 71 Toyota, 2006 Lamborghini, 2008 Bentley GT, electric golf cart, two boats, two jet skis, four motorcycles, a Vespa, and Batmobile. After Anagnostio paid $170,000 toward his replica, Mark Raycup says he couldn't get in touch with him for more than eight months and that the realtor missed a $20,000 payment, so Raycup moved him from first position to the ninth customer in line. He did pay off the entire car at that point, but he was absolutely livid to find out that his car was going to be delayed. If that is, because I watched Mr. Raycup's uh, interview by you, and if that ultimately is the scenario, it's a civil case. It's that simple. That's a civil case. Wow, what a relief. Uh, this has been a two-week nightmare. Today, I a spoke to Mark case. Wake Up again. To civil case, meaning he, that guy... So could, nothing with the sheriffs? No, oh. that's, not, that's not a criminal event. It's a, it's, it, it, or, but it already was in civil court, and the guy, nothing happened. So that's when the guy went and got the, his political crony, the sheriff, to go do it for him. He already did try to do it in court. He already did file a lawsuit. So anyway, where, where is this this town? This San, this, this San Mateo, California, mm -hmm. the county of San Mateo, right? So this isn't that up by San Francisco, San Mateo, and so the sheriff of San Mateo and the DA—that's who this is. Jackson, any comment from Gen Z on this? I know who to call when I'm uh, buying my first Batmobile. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for Hassan Piker to get his I first know. Batmobile. Ooh. Don't forget the painted fingernails to match the uh, Batmobile either. <laughs> Why doesn't Hassan be Batman? That's what I want. That's what I would like. Hey, we're doing live stand-up comedy coming to your town, Indianapolis, Louisville, Cincinnati, Tulsa, Oklahoma City, Detroit, Rochester. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all the tickets for all our dates. See you in Denver, too.